in today's video, I'm going to teach you all how to use the Clipping Mask tool in Procreate. The Clipping Mask feature is very similar to Alpha Lock, but it has an advantage when it comes to adding layers and textures to your work. Okay, for this demonstration, I'm going to create a circle. I'm going to fill it. I'm going to move it to the side, straighten it up. So now we have our base design. Perfect. To add a clipping mask, you would open your layers panel, hit the plus, which creates a new layer, select that layer, and select clipping mask. To know that it's clipping mask, you'll see the top layer will be highlighted in blue and a small little cursor arrow that pivots to the layer below it. And what that layer does, it tells Procreate, hey, we wanna make sure we design or color anything within this circle. Everything outside does not matter. Only the stuff that's inside the circle matters. So let me demonstrate what I mean. So if I were to select this layer, we know it's clipping mask. Let's change the color to something a little more contrast. Let's do like a, a aqua blue. And now I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to start here. So as you see, I am activating this side, but it's not showing up. So I'm gonna slowly go through the circle. As you can see, I'm going through the circle and every time I go outside of the circle, it doesn't show up. That means the clipping mask is activated. And it's as simple as that. You know, selecting that layer, making sure that arrow's directing to the base layer and adding the effects. Now that you kind of understand the basics of the clipping mask or how to use it or even how to activate your clipping mask, it's time to kind of take it to another level. So what we're gonna do is add shading and lighting. So I'm gonna create a shadow and a light source. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create two new layers. I'm gonna name one layer shadow and then the other layer light. All right, so we have two layers. So remember to activate a clipping mask, you would select the layer, clipping mask, clipping mask. Now you can do this a different way. So say for instance, your middle layer is clipping is clipped to the base layer and instead of clicking clipping mask, you just wanna drag it down. I would take this layer right here, select it, hover it, and put it right underneath our first clipping mask in between our, our shadow and our, uh, our base and boom, you automatically have a clipping mask. Now that may be a little bit complex. You don't have to necessarily do that, but you know, that's just kind of a quick way you can get it done. So now that we have our two clipped layers, um, I'm gonna start adding some shadows and lighting to this circle to give it more of like a spherical look. Um, so let's go with a darker purple and add the airbrush. So I use, I typically use a soft airbrush and this is all experimental. It's not gonna look perfect the first time. I remember I've, I've done this so many times to, to the point where I kind of have a slight idea of what to do. I don't know if you can tell, but as you can see, I'm making a very quick adjustment to this, this circle. Now it starts to have some dimension, um, giving it some life here. So now that we have that, I'm gonna then check my layers just to make sure that I'm on the right layer. And as you can see, shadows here is highlighted. That means I'm manipulating this. Okay, so let's work on our light layer. So I'm gonna click the light layer, slide it up, make sure my levels are good. And then I'm just gonna slowly add that light texture. I can always increase it if I want. Add a little bit of light to that. And boom see it's not you know not super perfect um, but you get the idea you can add these these dimensions and, and textures and make this look very realistic just by using clipping mask and having a darker tone and a lighter tone to show casting of light and shadows so that's one method that you can use with clipping mask okay next I'm gonna show you guys how to take that same method of lights and shadows and um, apply it to like actual art or drawings. For me, my style of using clipping masks is a little different. I don't usually blur any of my shadow and lights. I like to use hard lines. 
Um, so I'm gonna demonstrate how I use clipping masks to color my artwork. Okay, so we kind of have this quick base drawing or color of color fill of Mario's head. So I can kind of show you what you can use clipping mask, how you can use clipping mask. Um, so our reference layer is on the top. We then want to hit the plus, like before, press clicking mask. Oh, wow. Press clipping mask. And um, how I do my shadows, um, and I'll have a whole video on how I personally do them, but um, I just go to multiply, which is literally the first um, option. And I drag my opacity to about 25 or 30, depending on how intense I wanna make the color, and I use black. So what that does, um, it allows me to kind of use the undertones of the base color to make the shadow so I don't have to work as hard to find the colors or maybe I don't find the right color. I just kind of use the base to, to, to help me get through that. And you know, this layer right here is clipped under, clipped over this base drawing. And all we want to do is go in, I'm going to zoom in right here. Yep. And then we're going to Here's a quick demonstration of how to use lighting and shadows. Um, you can manipulate them however you want. Um, clipping masks really work well with creating that atmospheric feel um, of lights and darks and shadows and stuff. So I'm going to show you one more demonstration um, on how you can use clipping mask, and I think this will probably be the best one out of the other two. All right. So for this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to apply a clipping mask to text. First, I'm going to create this arbitrary gradient. Uh, I'm going to use a the airbrush tool. Let's actually use start there. Then we're going to go with red and let's go some teal, yellow. One more color. Let's go like a green. Oops. Cool. So we kind of have these funky, weird spotted colors. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to liquify. And I'm just going to play with the twirl um, effect. Let me see if I can kind of manipulate this a little bit more. All right, let's just go with this. I think this is fine. Cool. We have a base layer, right? Now we're going to go to our wrench and we want to do add text and let's just make a random word uh, cap lock create let's expand it now we want to take our color layer and we want to put it over our text right the text is underneath so that's why it disappeared secondly we want to go ahead and rasterize this rasterize which no longer makes it text editable it's just now part of a pixel based design so now we have our create at the bottom which is technically our base and our marble color up top which is now potential our potential clip we're going to select the layer clipping mask and boom there you have it so now with that procreate is associating this clip with the text and using the word create as a container to hold this color. Um, to kind of give this a little bit more dimension, I'm going to duplicate this, and then I'm going to take this color and I'm just gonna drop it down some, you know, just to kind of give it some dimension so you can actually see it. But boom, um, that's pretty much it. So I went over three different methods you can use clipping mask for. One was creating shadow and light with flat images. Um, such as the sphere. The second one was creating a, using shadow and light or clipping mask to kind of give your pictures more dimension. And thirdly, I created um, cool graphics using text and colors. 
If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. This will definitely help the channel grow. Um, it'll push it through the algorithm and hopefully someone who's interested in learning how to use clipping masks can take advantage of this video. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I highly recommend it. Uh, I try to do videos once a week um, just to keep everything fresh and new. And I also share inspiration that I've learned from other artists or YouTubers. I appreciate you guys for locking in with me to the end of this video and hopefully I see you in the next one. Peace.